What's up guys, Zach Man, Micro Profits FX, doing another quick video update this morning. Um, we're just going to kind of quickly run through some of the trades that we're in today from yet last night. Um, so right now the yen is very, very strong. So is the Aussie and the British pound. They're both uh, really, really strong. Um, obviously it's Easter, the day after Easter, so it's Easter Monday, so a lot of your stuff ain't really open yet and nothing's up and running because of the holiday. Um, but um, let's take a look at the trades here so got into this one the usd jpy right around this area so we're about ooh, 600 pibs in so far um we're going to kind of look at this support area right down here to kind of cash out on probably um just because i'm not a, really a long-term holder um my guess is it, it should break out of there i'm, I'm going to kind of watch it maybe i'll just cash out half of them how sell half the lot and then kind of ride the rest see what it does um, but it'll probably do a pullback and then bounce off. And then I'll probably just look to re-enter with the higher lot size once it retouches the trend line here. But Because um, I don't see this thing going all the way down to 101 just in one big fall swoop move. But uh, eventually it will get here. But like I said, I'm not really much of a long hold and wait type person. I like to usually close my trades on Friday. I don't like to really hold them over the weekends um, or nothing like that. So um, just kind of keep an eye on that. Um, like I said, the Aussie's pretty strong. I'm not going to enter any, like... A lot of USD pairs. The only one that I think I'm really into right now is the USD JPY. But um, obviously, this one's going pretty strong. I did uh, predict that it's probably going to go up to the right around the six five or, or uh, six six five area, right up in, in this area is where. Yeah, five area is where I'm guessing. I did have a trade place last week, the beginning of the week, is like right down in this area, and then ended up cashing out somewhere uh, right up in this area. So. I think I was actually right where this accumulation area was. I ended up selling, so it made me a little bit of money anyways, which is pretty positive. But, um, yeah, I think it'll continue going up. But um, we'll kind of watch it a little bit once the markets actually get going. I know there's some news, uh, unemployment news and stuff like that going on for Aussie later on tonight. So let's kind of see what happens after that and kind of look for it to see if it pulls back and kind of wicks out down here and kind of goes back up or not. Um, not much. Like I said, it has changed as far as uh, yesterday, as far as some of the um, charts. A lot of, like I said, there's a lot of wedging going on. Like uh, everything's kind of wedging together. So we're just going to wait for the markets to kind of open back up. Um, obviously, the euro is very, very weak. Um, and you can kind of see that JP, the pound right now is kind of, this is looking like a very good selling opportunity. So we'll see what happens uh, later on to this evening. Um, but I know the OPV is above our moving averages. So um, the trend is definitely up. So uh, we'll kind of keep an eye on that. I'm not going to enter it right now. So um, the Euro, uh, yeah, I did uh, place uh, this morning. I placed a sell for that one, um, as you can kind of see right here. Uh, again, um, it, is, it is kind of an uptrend, but um, I think it's going to reverse now just because of the way that uh, the trends are going down. And LPV looks like it's going to cross over here pretty soon. So um, just kind of kind of take a smaller profit in the where this next support level is, and then we'll take it out. I'm not going to have it all the way down here so i'm going to kind of keep an eye on that but i put a sell enter on that one same thing with the euro swiss you can kind of see it's it's hitting trend lines but it's not it, like this one it did actually close out of one and then that's when i opened it when there was a new uh candle um right here they're the same candle so i'm not going to do anything with that one uh euro jpy obviously we took a sell on that one once this candle opened so you can kind of see that's going down uh not going to really get into that one oh yeah i'm in uh the pound and the, the yen as well um this one's a little trickier just because i did enter it when it was still in this wedging area just because the yen pairs were all dominant and the yen is very very strong um but now the and the pound wasn't very strong at the time when i entered it but now it's getting stronger so i hate that when both pairs are strong because it's just usually all that means is it's going to kind of bounce around in this wedge you know, until one of them breaks out, then uh, it'll outweigh the other pair, and then, yeah, it'll go that direction it needs to go. So going to keep a close eye on this one. Might actually closing out either break even or a little bit of a loss. Maybe we'll see what happens. But um, Canadian yen, obviously I'm going to sell on that one as well. Um, it did. Uh, it is wicking out at this trend line. That's why I entered it, and then um, it looked, and then it closed uh, a little bit lower from this little support area. So we are going down on that one. And that is basically the last one that I'm in, I believe. 
Nope, I actually have this one more. Um, so the Swiss, I'm in the Swiss as well. Yen, so that's going down. Um, again, I entered it once it broke out of this trend line. Um, we had the candle open up and then we entered and then, so there we are. So um, this is more like a wedge as well. So I'll probably, I'll probably raise that up a little bit more. So that way make sure it hits it, but it'll be closing out, taking profit once it hits this because it's probably gonna bounce around once we get down there a little bit further. So. And that is the, I was going to watch this one as well. So the, obviously, like I said, the Aussie strong, which mean, usually means um, the New Zealand dollar is actually strong as well. So we'll see uh, what this one looks like at noon. If it does uh, close, I might be looking at entering a sell on the Euro NZD. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Um, go Micro Profits FX. Subscribe, join the Telegram channel, all that fun stuff. Thanks, guys.